Good evening, everyone. Hello, Kenya. Good, Good evening. evening teacher. Hello, hello, Wilson. Hello, Alma, Christopher, and Irving. Wow, you are just Good on evening. time. Hello, teacher. Hello, happy to see you. Hey, Irving, where are you now? I'm fine, teacher. All right. But... Ah, you are at home. Yes, but okay. in one moment. Okay, very good. So be careful there. Okay, guys, uh, welcome to our English course. Uh, remember, today we have to talk about uh, past experiences. Yesterday, we started uh, with the topic about simple past tense with regular verbs. And as far as I remember, you did a great job yesterday. Okay, I don't know if, if you could um, if you did your homework assignment. We're going to start talking about it. Remember, uh, yesterday I told you to create something about or to answer the question about what did you do. Uh, let me see. What did you do last weekend? That was the question, right? What did you do last weekend? What did you do last weekend? Here's the chair. Yeah, I we listen to you perfectly. I yes, did, I listen. I did watch uh, television in the morning. All right, you watch television in the morning. Okay, Wilson, go ahead. Yeah, I did exercise in the afternoon. Yeah, you did exercise in the afternoon. Yeah, I did not study on weekend. 
You didn't study during the weekend. Yes. All right, Wilson. That's it. All right, so hey, people, remember that's very important. Uh, for me to see you. So do me the, the favor to activate your cameras. Uh, Jose Luis, Alba, uh, Wilson, Christopher, do me the favor to activate your camera, please. All right, Jose Luis, that's better. Christopher, Wilson, and Alba, I don't see you. But if you have problems with your camera, let me know about it, okay? Now that's better, Wilson, that's better. Um, uh, some people are trying to get connected okay so that's gloria right gloria welcome to the class sure hello in this moment in this moment i'm driving i go to my home who's driving now in, in, five, in five minutes oh uh, christopher I see the camera all right, it, it's all right, Christopher. I will check it now, now in here. So I will take it into consideration. Okay, but pay attention in the class. Okay, that's 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 the way it is, right? Okay, Hello. teacher. Okay, Hello. so be careful, be careful, please. Hello, Rebecca. Rebecca Michelle. Hello, Hello, teacher. Hello. Now, I wonder if you are facing problems with your camera. Otherwise, do me the favor to activate it. Eh, eh, sí, teacher, solo que voy de camino para San Miguel. Ah, uh, you are, okay. So, you are driving also. Sí, teacher. All right. Okay, I will check it down here. Norma Beatriz. Okay, and I have Diana Gabriela. Hello, Diana. Hello, teacher. Hello. Uh, what, what about you? Do you have problems with camera also? Okay. Be because, uh, you know, it's quite important uh, that you activate your camera, people. Okay. Uh, well, you know, uh, I started checking the homework assignment and I will ask. Uh, one by one, I mean, I will choose five people randomly and then you start talking about what you did during the weekend, all right? All right? Yes, yes. All right, yes, yes. Okay, Jorge David, you start. Uh, you tell me my, uh, I asked him, oh, you uh, la respuesta o me la pregunta? No, I mean, you, you start talking about what you did during the weekend. What did you do during the weekend? And on Sunday, I did a laundry and dried my clothes and the hairy. I did my homework. At Sunday, it was in the park with my children and watched a show of the light china. Wow, fantastic, Jorge. Fantastic, that was awesome. Excellent. Okay, very good. Now, I, I need a second person, and I will ask, um, well, it being already participated, right? Kenya, please. Okay. I did many things last weekend. Uh, first, I got up at 5.30 I am, uh, but I got out uh, up 5.40 a.m. After I took a shower at 6 a.m. Beside, I had breakfast, fried eggs, beans, and bread. Um, to continue, I watched TV for one hour with my mother. And not only that, I did my English homework Later, I didn't visit my grandmother. In addition, I didn't go shopping last weekend. And finally, I went to the shore on Sunday with my mother in the morning. 
Wow, Kenya. Hey, congratulations. Now, uh, you know, that's what I want you to, to do and to notice, right? That your English is improving day by day. And and you will you will notice it because you are the one that's performing something over here, that you are producing something in English. That's fantastic. Congrats, Kenya. And also your pronunciation Thanks. is improving. Very good. Uh, let me see. People who almost ever have uh, let me see. It is. Could you please share the information you got about weekend activities? Okay, teacher. The last weekend I did platform homework and right. I did I did the grocery shopping. And I hate traffic, but I have to do the grocery shopping. Only this. Only that. Fantastic. It is pretty good representation. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, let me see. Uh, Gloria Carolina. Gloria Carolina, please let us know what Sorry. you did. Sorry, no, no hice la, la tarea. But you didn't do the homework? Sí, oh. no, no, no la hice. He tenido mucho trabajo ahora. A lot of activities to do. Okay. Hey, but Gloria, do the homework right now and later I will ask you again, okay? Uh, me recuerda, era. It's about what you did during the weekend. The past weekend? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Last weekend. Okay. 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 Now I will get back and then you will tell me what you did, okay? Okay, okay, perfect. Perfect. All right. Julio, Julio, let us know what you did. Julio. Hey, Julio, Julio is facing problems maybe with it with the with the audio. Let us try with uh, Jose Enrique. Okay, Jose Enrique, go ahead with the info. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hey Jenny, welcome. And also Cecil, happy to Good see evening, you. Good evening, teacher. Long time no see. I wonder what happened to you yesterday. Teacher, tengo a mi madre enferma. Ahorita le están retirando un suero. Oh, I'm sorry to know about it. Okay, I'm pero so sorry. me oh, hizo she... falta. Yeah, we miss you also in the class. <laughs> we miss you yes, a lot. Yes. Okay. Teacher, I, I don't can uh, turn on the, the camera, but I call, I go to my home. I'm from Guatemala. Uh, you are coming back from Guatemala. Yes. All right, Jenny. Okay, Jenny, I know that uh, you love but to- I participate in the class. Perfect. Hey, Jenny, let us know what you did during the weekend, please. Okay. No, listen, turn off the microphone. Yeah, Jenny, uh, do me the favor to activate your microphone. We we cannot listen to you. Or if you need some more time, okay, it's all right. And I will get back to you so that you can share what you did during the weekend. I am, I wake up um, at the seven, seven o'clock and take a, a, a shower and cook the, the breakfast and watch TV while my son to watch TV and you took care of your son. All right, fantastic. Let's see, Sandra Guadalupe. Let us know what you did during the weekend, please. Yes, sir. I'm sorry, I wasn't in the previous class. Are you were not in the previous class? Okay, now try to create some sentences about what you did during the weekend, Sandra. 
Activities you did in the past, during the weekend. Actividades que hizo el fin de semana. Busque unas tres oracioncitas en pasado y nos lo, y nos lo dicen. Por favor. Gloria, Carolina. Gloria, go ahead. Yes, I'm, I'm ready. Okay, now that um, you're ready, go ahead. Well, I didn't do much. On Saturday, I dedicated myself to cleaning and organize, organizing my house. On Sunday, I worked in the morning and went to a party in the afternoon with my family. And finally, we returned there until the evening with my husband at home. Wow, great information. Excellent info. Now, let's look at that to business and let us move on a little to the, to the activity itself. I mean, to the topic that we are facing today. We're gonna continue talking about simple past tense and we're gonna continue talking about the way to pronounce regular verbs in the past. Now, you remember that the regular verbs are all those verbs uh, that are written down or which ending is ed, okay? And uh, so we will continue talking about it. Uh, I don't know if there is another person who wants to share information about weekend. Otherwise, we will move on to the class itself. Yes, sir. Tell me. You went, he said you went to a concert the Bad Bunny. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't really like it. I don't really like it. I don't know if you if you um, enjoyed it and if you went to that concert, but I, I don't like it. Actually, I don't like that kind of music. <laughs> Okay, I will share, so if there is no other um, participant who wants to share info, let us move on. Okay, yesterday we saw this exercise. I, I hope you can remember. And we're gonna, we're gonna do it orally in a very quick way. We did it yesterday, right? So this is a review. Now, instructions. Um, you're gonna tell us the, the the sentences by pronouncing the word in the right way and in the right form. Okay, now we'll ask some of you directly. Alba Luz, the first one, please, on Friday night. Now, do you see, do you see, well? On Friday night, I waited, waited for a phone call. Fantastic. Hey, and also the pronunciation. You are you remember about pronunciation. Wait, wait it because we're gonna continue talking about it. Now, number two, Alma, go ahead with it, please. But my girlfriend did no did no pardon, did call. But my girlfriend the, didn't call, pardon. Didn't call. All right, didn't very call. good. Didn't call. All right, let me see. Carlos Ernesto, are you there? Yeah, it is you. Okay, Carlos, go ahead with the next, please. The topic is what I do in the weekend. Yeah, that's no, I mean, Carlos Ernesto, I, I wonder if you can see the exercise over here. If you, if you are not able to solve it, we're going to help you. Watch it. I used to stay home and watch and watch the TVs in person. Uh, okay, now keep keep this verb in mind. Watch, watch, watch. watch. Yeah, it's because at the end you are going to see that the pronunciation is a little bit different. But that is good. Excellent, excellent, because grammar is okay, Carlos. Cecil, help us with the next one, please. On Saturday, I visited my friend Frank. Fantastic. On Saturday, I visited my friend Frank. Very okay. good. Thank you. Now, then and I have, then I have Diana Gabriela. Go ahead with the next, please. The mm -hmm. the we talking and listening to music. All right, grammar is correct, but remember, there is, we're going to study about pronunciation tonight. 
we talked and listened oh. to music. And listened right. to music. Yeah, that's right. So remember, try to get concentrated into pronunciation tonight because when we speak, we use grammar also. Uh, in the evening, let me see, people who haven't participated. Hector, I don't know if Hector is in the class tonight. Hector, are you here? No, Hector is not in the class. Okay. And I will ask uh, Jorge Alberto. Well, Jorge Alberto is not in the class either. Now, let me see. Jorge David, go ahead, please, with the, ne with the next one. In the evening? In the evening, I invited some friends over and we cooked a great meal. A great meal, excellent. Hey, thanks for doing your best effort on pronouncing the correct, I mean, correctly the verb. Invited, cooked. Invited, cooked. Excellent. Invited, cooked. cooked. Very good. Now, let me see. Uh, Jose Oscar, do me the favor to continue with the next one, please. I didn't work heavy hard on Sunday. I, I didn't work very hard on Sunday. Fantastic. Very good. Now, with the next one, uh, let me see. Uh, Catherine Roxana. Well, Catherine is not over here tonight. Okay, let me see. I have a uh, Kenya Margarita. Go ahead, please. I not study at all. I didn't study at all. I didn't study at all. Fantastic. And the last one. The last one, let me see. Uh, uh, Reina, is Reina out here? Salvador Galdames? Okay, and the last is for, let me see, for uh, Wilson, please. I just walked to the mall and shop. All right, I just walked. I just walked. Walked. I just walked. To the mall. To the mall and shop. Shopped. Shop. Yeah, okay. So don't worry because right now is the time for us to see the information about pronouncing the verbs. I share, as I usually do, I share video through WhatsApp and do me the favor to get to study that video as much as possible. And if it is possible, try to memorize the information and also the pronunciation of the video. I mean, of the words in the video. And, but right now we're gonna go over the following topic, okay? That's about yesterday we started this, right? About simple past tense. Knowledge check and now over here. This is the this is our uh, lesson objective. And uh, do me the favor to read it, please. Who wants to help me to read the, the lesson objective for tonight? By the end of this class, you will learn to sound natural when using regular shipping. Fantastic, thank you. What are we gonna learn? We're gonna learn to sound natural when using regular simple past verbs. So what does it mean? That we are going to learn how, how, how to pronounce the verbs and also how to pronounce the pronunciation of such verbs. And we're gonna see that this video, at the end, I will ask some of you to help me to read different verbs that are presented in this video, okay? And let's see what's going on. Then we're going to start working on something else. No listen. No listen, teacher. No listen, teacher. 
No se escucha, teacher. Uh, uh, give me one second. I forgot to do something. And this information is quite important. I can, I mean, we have to discuss. Thanks for letting me know about it. I will start sharing once again. I think I could solve the problem. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to... What about now? Yes. 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 All right. All right. So pay special attention because as you can see over here, the topic is about pronunciation. Simple past ED ending. ED ending has three different pronunciations and, and there are... I mean, there are different rules about how to pronounce it, but I will try to make it easier for you to identify the way to pronounce the verbs in, in past. When pronouncing simple past verbs, the ED ending of simple past verbs has three different sounds. Let's listen and practice. These verbs end in t, worked, watched, these verbs end in d, cleaned, stayed. These verbs end in id, invited, visited. In order to understand when we'll have a t, d, or id sound, we need to understand a couple of concepts. Voiceless and voice sound. So let me explain that. I would like for you to pay attention to my throat and my fingers. I'm going to put two fingers on my hey, if throat, you... particularly on my ass. Now, listen, if you can do the exercise the guy is just trying to explain, you can do it also, right? Put your, your fingers uh, over here in your on your throat, okay? Because you are going to feel something when pronouncing the verbs. Adam's apple. I would like for you to do the same as well. Now, I would like for you to repeat after me. Repeat. Watch. Watch. Turn. Turn. Watch. Watch. Turn. Turn. Watch. Watch. Turn. Turn. Watch. Watch. Turn. Turn. Whenever we pronounce now let me see because that's that was quite important. Okay, now listen. If you pronounce the verb watch, turn, watch, your vocal, uh, your your vocal cords do not vibrate. Why? Right? When you when you pronounce watch, 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 but otherwise by pronouncing the other the other verb turn. Now your vocal cords vibrate. Cuando ustedes pronuncian el verbo watch, al final, si ustedes se tocan su, 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 su garganta, se va, van a notar que sus cuerdas vocales no vibran. ¿Ok? Pero si ustedes pronuncian el verbo turn, mm, yo por eso estaba exagerando el sonido, turn, ahí sí vibran nuestras cuerdas vocales. ¿Sí lo pueden diferenciar? Yes, Si les da yes, penita yes. hacer el ejercicio, que okay, cierren su micrófono y, y la cámara un ratito y hagan el ejercicio. Eh, es sumamente importante porque es algo básico que le va a ayudar, no solo en básico, sino que cuando lleguen avanzado, porque la pronunciación todo el tiempo se utiliza. Okay, let us see what's going on with the information the guy is presenting. The verb watch, there watch. is no vibration on okay. Adam's apple. This is called a voiceless mm -hmm. sound. However, whenever we pronounce the verb turn, there is lots of vibration on my Adam's apple. This is called a voice sound. Now let's try to understand the it sound. We will pronounce it whenever we have verbs that have a T and a D sound. All right, before before continue with the information, as you, as you can see over here, 
Uh, let me see. I will try. I will try to use something to to provide further information. You gotta pay attention to the ed ending of the verbs, okay? Because the pronunciation is different. Okay. For example, in the first one, you pronounce word. 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 Yeah, like a T. This this sounds like a T. T. Word. Watched. Watched. Watch. Yeah, like a T sound. T song, no, T sound. All right. In the second one, you have a D sound. And you say cleaned. Cleaned. Stayed. Stayed. And the in the third one, you have E pronunciation. Invited. 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 Visited. 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 So Visited. now this is quite important. Okay. Now you will see uh, further information uh, that this guy is going to provide. And... For example, visit has a T sound. So we pronounce the past as visited. Len. Landed. Has the sound. So we pronounce the past as landed. landed. Let me show you more examples of words that are voiceless and voice to help you understand this topic better. All right. Now that you have uh, gotten the information, I mean, the guy is going to pronounce this, this um, a verse, but... I just want I just want to listen to some of you. I will I will ask. I will ask once again. Give me one second, please, because I'm looking for my pen. Okay. Uh, Susana, is Susana over here? Yes, teacher. Susana, do me the favor to pronounce these verbs, please. Wanted, needed. Excellent. Wanted, needed. And she took into consideration this, right? But you know, I will let you know like the key to 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 get the right pronunciation of these verbs. Okay, thank you very much. Silvia Carolina, are you here? Well, Silvia Carolina, I don't, I don't think she's, she's in the class now. But I have a Sandra Guadalupe. Read the second column, please. Huh? Now, this. Give me one second, please. I will move this part. Let me Hello? see. Wait a minute. Wait. Wait a minute. Okay, this is like the T sound, right? Okay, Sandra. Help, help, Maria. Help, help. Help. No. Help. Help. No. No, help. Listen, listen carefully. Helped. Help. Help. This, yeah, helped. Help. The other one, please. Look. Looked. Looked. The next, the next one. Washed. 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 The next Watch. one. Watched. Watched. The next one. Load. Uh, okay, so let me let me tell you about this pronunciation. Okay, whenever you have u, g. In H, they say left. 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 Yeah. Breathe. Breath. Breath. 
Priest. Kiss. That's right. Kissed. Kiss. Then. Danced. Then. Fight. Fight. Fi fixed. Fixed. Okay. Fixed. Now, as fixed. you can see, thank you very much, Sandra. Thank you. Now, as you can see, all of these sounds are voiceless. That voiceless means that our our vocal cords do not vibrate. But fíjense bien, eh, chicos, les voy a explicar así rapidito. Solo va, le voy a pedir a alguien más que me lea cómo se pronuncian estos verbos. Is there any volunteer? Yeah. Yes. Uh, uh, okay. Okay, Christopher, go ahead. Okay. What's left? Yeah. Cold. Cold. Clean. Cleaned. Offered. Offered. Damage. Damage. Uh, love. Loved. Used. Used. Followed. Followed. Enjoyed. Enjoyed. Amazed. Amazed. Very good. So, okay. now, as you can see, we have voice sounds, and we also have voiceless sounds. Did you okay. Tell me. question. Tell me. <coughs> ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo sería un truco para poder vocabulario, uh, para hacer bien cuando uno termina así en, en la D? A mí me cuesta mucho uh, all right. la pronunciación. Now, now, I will try, I will try. I will try to, to, to make it easier for you. Voy a tratar de que sea más fácil para ustedes. But, estamos claros que todos los Thank verbos you, que todos los verbos que terminan en ED en pasado son regulares, ok, todos los que terminan en ED son regulares, si sí, los verbos regulares en pasado tienen tres pronunciaciones, dependiendo en cómo termine su sonido, vale, para facilitárselos, yo este, lo que hago es que si el verbo termina en T o en D, automáticamente ya sé que se va a pronunciar ID, T o D. One deal. Ni deal. A deal. Etc. Ok, esa es la clave. Si termina en T o en D, yo ya sé que su pronunciación es ir. Ahora, aquí, perdón que me pase al español, pero quiero que les quede muy claro para que lo practiquen mucho. Ok, porque esto necesita mucha práctica. Eh, tenemos eh, sonidos como y, y, el, y el último que si ustedes hacen esos sonidos se van a dar cuenta que sus cuerdas vocales no vibran. Ok, pero si hacen el sonido de la L R, G, Z, Z. Y los demás, Z, por ejemplo, se van a dar cuenta que ahí sí van a vibrar sus cuerdas vocales. Entonces, si al final del verbo, he up, exagero el sonido, he up, oiga, no, no vibran nuestras cuerdas vocales. Entonces, yo ya sé que el verbo se tiene que pronunciar como una T al final. He opt. He opt. Por el otro lado tenemos el cold. Ah, ese sí vibra. Entonces, si vibra al final, quiere decir que la ED va a ser pronunciada como una D. All right? So we have voiceless sounds over here, and we have voiced sounds in this, in this part. And all of the verbs ending in T or D are pronounced like E. Is it clear?
Is it clear? It's not clear. Uh, it's, it's clear. Please. Okay, let, let's see. Let us try to finish with the video, okay? And then we will, we will move on. Another method to use is following this particular sounds. These sounds are voiceless. P, K, S, H, C, H, G, H, T, H, S, S, C, X. Let's pronounce these words now. I would like for you to repeat them after me. Okay, let us repeat. Helped. 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 Looked. Looked. Watched. 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 Laughed. Laughed. Breathed. Breathed. Kissed. Kissed. Danced. Danced. Fixed. Fixed. The following consonants have boys sound. Hope you're pronouncing them L at home. N R G V S W Y Z. Let's pronounce these words now. I would like for you to repeat them after me. Called, cleaned, offered, damaged, loved, used, followed, enjoyed, amazed. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to pronounce all of these verbs. And then record yourself using the website bookaroo.com. After you finish this activity, share the link of the recording on our discussion forums. Okay. Now. Now we we did it right. We got excellent information through this video, and we learn how to pronounce a regular verse, right? Simple past statements with. I mean, um, pronunciation with a simple uh, past form of regular verbs. Okay, now, now let us do something just right now. Simple past ending ed. Now, um, I want you to look for five regular verbs in the web in the internet, five regular verbs, verbs that you didn't see in the video. Quiero que busquen cinco verbos regulares en, eh, en internet, ¿ok? Y que los coloquen en el chat. Cuando lo coloquen... Yeah, right now, right now, please. Five verbs. Five verbs. You can type in Google uh, regular verbs and you. Okay, very good. Stop there, Carlos. How do you pronounce the past form of those verbs? Except. Carlos Ernesto, please, the past form. Accept, add it, admire. Accept, admit it. Uh, accept. Uh, okay. Accept. 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 Admired. 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 Admit. Admitted. Admitted. Advised. 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 Very good, thank you. I have Ada, uh, uh, Alba, sorry. Alba, how do you pronounce the word that you typed in the chat? They, they sent. Danced. 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 Very good. What about Sandra Guadalupe? What about Kenya? 
Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Go ahead, please, with pronunciation. Yo. Dance, night, yes. needed, planned, traveled. Planned and traveled. Very good. Sandra. The first one, like, was well, San Sandra seems to to have some problems. Yeah, Jorge, it's all right. Don't worry. But later we're gonna look for verbs that are re irregular verbs. Jorge. Okay, Alma Ivet, you have want in the past form. Want. Yeah, want wanted. Wanted, wanted. Yeah, happen. Happen. Very good. Try. Try it. Tried. Tried. Yeah, ask. Ask. Ask it. Mm, no. Ask. Mm, ask. 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 Te. Yeah, T at the end. And live. <laughs> Live. 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 Okay, Live. very good. Jenny, how do you pronounce the platform for jump? Uh, oh, Jenny has problems with the audio. It's jumped. Uh, tell me. Jumping. Tell me, Jenny. You can listen, teacher. Yeah, I can listen to you now. Uh, jump, jump, is jump, jump. Jumped. Yeah. Jumped. Jump. Jumps. Yeah. Jumped. Jumped. Uh -huh. All right, that's fantastic. Hey, I think we have just uh, learned uh, about how to pronounce a uh, regular verse in the past form. Now we're gonna move on, okay? Because uh, I want to introduce a regular verse tonight, okay? Because I will assign a homework assignment for tomorrow. And, you know, in order to continue talking about simple past tense, we're gonna talk also about irregular verbs. You will learn how to form positive and negative statements in the simple past by using irregular verbs. Okay, I will introduce the topic only. We are going to continue tomorrow because uh, we are we have only 15 minutes and I want to, to let you know about an activity that you are going to prepare for tomorrow. Okay, we're going to see this video. This is about irregular verbs, people. Now, there is there are rules for let me see. Have is not regular, uh, Jorge. That's irregular. And we are just getting into the irregular verse. Thank you. Thank you, Jorge. Now, listen carefully. Now we're going to, you see, we have two groups of verbs in English, right? One group is uh, about regular verse, the ones that we have just studied. And we also have Another group that's about irregular verbs. For the regular verbs, you have the rule that all of them are, uh, I mean, uh, end in ed. But what about irregular verbs? The rule is that there is no rule, that you have to memorize them all. Okay, let's see what's going on. The, the pass of uh, for do is deal, get, got. Go went, meet met, come came and have had. Now take, let's take a look at it. Hi everyone. In this class, you learn to form positive and negative statements using irregular verbs. Let's get started by listening and practicing these statements in the past using irregular verbs. Simple past statements, irregular verbs. 
I did my homework. I didn't do laundry. You got up at noon. You didn't get up at ten o'clock. He went to the museum. He didn't go to the library. We met our classmates. We didn't meet our teacher. You came home late. You didn't come home early. They had a picnic. They didn't have a party. In English, we have two types of verbs. In our last class, we learned how to use regular verbs and learned the simple rule of adding ed to change those verbs to the past tense. We also have irregular verbs, which are more complicated because there really isn't a particular rule to follow. You will need to learn them and memorize them. To form positive statements in the past using irregular verbs, we will follow the same formula as with forming positive statements with regular verbs. Subject plus verb in the past tense plus complement. On these charts, you can see a few examples. If you notice the positive statements, have the verbs in the past tense. And the negative statements have the verbs in the present tense. For example, the past of the verb do is did, get up, the past is got up, go, the past is went, meet, the past is met, come, the past is came, have, the past is had. Let's analyze the first example. I did my homework. First we add the subject I. Then we include the verb in the past tense, did. Finally we add a complement, homework. To form negative statements, we will follow this formula. Subject plus didn't the auxiliary didn't, plus verb in the present, plus complement. I didn't do laundry. First, we add the subject I. Then, we add the auxiliary verb to form negative statements in the past. Didn't. After that, we add the verb in the present. Do. Finally, we add the complement, laundry. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to make positive and negative statements using these irregular verbs. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. <coughs> All right. Dice, seguro que entendí el auxiliar. Ya no, ya no tendremos que estar conjugando el verbo. No, it, it happens the same as no, we. Yeah, Christopher, you are right. When we have the auxiliary did, the verb remains in the base form. It sucede igual que con los regulares. Si se recuerdan, ayer estuvimos viendo eh, la estructura y es eh, prácticamente lo mismo. Lo mismo. Lo único que cambia es el grupo de verbos. Ok, si por ejemplo tengo go, el pasado es de go, es went. Bueno. Pero si yo voy a usar el auxiliar did, I didn't, ¿cómo digo? No. I didn't went or I didn't go. I didn't go. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't go. go. Entonces el verbo regresa a su forma base. All right. Uh, okay. No importa si es regular o irregular. No. Ok, very good. Thanks for asking. If there is any other question. We can discuss it now. Now, listen, uh, I will check the list of attendance and then I will I will assign a homework for tomorrow. Solo voy a, a verificar que las personas que tengo acá marcadas como uh, personas que no entraron a la clase, pues que no me haya equivocado en algo. Héctor Adalberto. Jorge Alberto. 
Catherine, you did. Present. Jorge Alberto, let me see. Jorge Alberto. Oh, ya ve, Jorge, ya me había equivocado yo. Por eso me gusta hacer esta, este repaso de mi, de mi lista de tenders. Catherine Judith, Catherine Roxana. Present. Okay, thank you, Catherine Roxana. And I have Katie Tatiana. Katie. Uh, Katie is absent, right? And also Reina Concepcion. Salvador Galdames. Hi, teacher. Okay, Salvador, thanks. I'm sorry because I I didn't see you in the list. I don't know what happened to me. And I, I have Silvia Carolina. Uh, Silvia is not over here. And uh, Edita, right? Edita. I think Edita belonged to another group. Okay, guys, listen. We're almost done. Casi terminamos. Solo le voy a... Cecibet, tell me, Cecibet. Uh, yo tengo problemas en, el, en la actividad que sigue después de, de a, la que acabamos de ver el video. Uh, hice la, las, los primeros, lo hice bien y ya lo último ya no pude. Si ajá, gusta... el, el, que, el que sigue después, el 4.9, teacher. Ah, ok. No se preocupe, ajá. Cecibel, porque mañana pues nosotros lo vamos a abordar. Ay, sí, es que todavía. Te... Yo pensé que sí. era jueves. No, 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 no. No, no, pero está bien que adelanten. La verdad que eso está genial. Ajá, ajá. Yo he visto, ahora estaba viendo en el grupo que ustedes se están ayudando ahí. Ajá, sí, ese mismo es. Ese eh, mismo. Eso está genial, pero no se preocupe ajá. que sí lo vamos a abordar y vamos a aclarar cualquier duda que tengamos ahí. Ok, eh, teacher, thank you. You're welcome, Cecilia. Hey, thank you sure. for coming today. Excuse me. José Luis, go ahead. Eh, la tarea es de irregular verbos o regulares verbos. Eh, fíjese que van a... Les voy a explicar qué es la tarea que voy a solicitar para mañana. Ok. Eh, pueden buscar o pueden crear lo que yo les voy a, a asignar. Si usted tiene muy corto su tiempo y trabaja todo el día, pues busque ahí una pequeña historia donde aparezcan verbos regulares e irregulares en pasado. Y nos la van a contar mañana. ¿Ok? Si tiene un mensaje como muy positivo, pues mucho mejor, ¿verdad? No necesariamente este, vayan a buscar una historia súper larga, ¿no? Hay, hay historias bien cortitas. Y si no, pues ustedes buscan o, o pueden crear una propia, que sea cortita, que no se vayan a gastar que más de dos minutos, ¿ok? Lo importante es que ustedes sigan practicando eh, la estructura que hemos visto, la pronunciación que hemos estado practicando, para que así este, prácticamente el inglés se vaya quedando este, en ustedes, ¿verdad? Que no sea un, un, un aprendizaje nada, así superficial, que lo aprendo ahora y ya mañana lo olvido. No, inglés... Te leo, teacher. Sí, inglés... Buscar una pequeña historia donde aparezcan verbos regulares e irregulares. That's it. Por okay, supuesto, por supuesto, practicando la pronunciación, ¿verdad? No solo okay. de los verbos, sino de todas las palabras que encuentro. Ok. Ok, lo voy dejando y lo veo el día de mañana. Todos listos, por favor. Todos listos con su historia. Yeah. Ok. See you soon. Thank See you good. tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher.